home is the American dream. It's what everyone strives for. Everyone, you know, works day in and day out to, at the end of the day, try to put a roof over their head. And it's, it's good to be a part of helping that to make someone's dream a, a reality. Blitz is when professional builders who are typically building large high-rises, universities, apartment buildings, museums, uh, hospitals, come together and they actually blitz a habitat house in a very condensed period of time, in this case in two weeks. They'll go from foundation all the way to completion. to welcome all of you here this morning for this groundbreaking. It's the first homes right now that we are groundbreaking on that will be building here in this beautiful community in the city of Lancaster. So let's give a round of applause. Awesome, right? Fantastic. We are mobilizing over 100 skilled tradesmen every day for two weeks. Our construction partners are donating not only their time, but essential building materials and supplies. This collaboration offers a valuable opportunity for these firms to deepen their ties with the community, engage with local builders, and even partner with additional corporate sponsors who share their commitment to affordable housing. Housing is a key priority for the city of Lancaster and we wanna ensure that our residents have safe, affordable, and accessible housing here. But we can't do it alone. People frequently, politicians always try to uh, talk about jobs, talk about housing, but we really need the private sector and the nonprofit sector to step up and work with us, to collaborate with us to make those things happen. It doesn't happen in a vacuum. Habitat for Humanity has been a developer that has come to the table with ideas, with funding, with the ability to achieve and perform, and they have been an incredible partner to make those things happen. We can't thank Turner, Whiting Turner and Clark Construction enough. Uh, for continuing to build with us. They've helped several families get into new home ownership. They've taught our team uh, some techniques and some skills. They've introduced us to subcontractors who we still continue to use to this day. And um, the partnership has been a, about a lot more than just building these homes for families, which is important to us, but it's also been a true partnership where our team comes together with their team and we're really working to improve efficiencies, economies of scale, and to accelerate our home building process. If you think about the Habitat model, every step along the chain to actually get to this point, it really is all about how you make those partnerships meaningful and lasting so that you can serve these families that'll be in these homes, hopefully for generations. So you have to have a partnership mindset to do this kind of work. The team gets really excited about this. You think about our world, you build large scale projects, the gestation period of those between finding out about them, responding to an RFP, going through an entire process, normally years before you get to the point of building a project. So even though we've been planning for about the last year, building out what we've done the last two years, the fact that they can get out there with the team and build something that they enjoy building for something that makes an impact uh, for a family within two weeks, that gets their juices really flowing. So you'll see some real excitement from our teams and the competition that's friendly doesn't hurt either. And so between those factors, our teams get really jazzed up about supporting the mission. We say this is a good competition and uh, we all know we are one team. Um, the goal is simple, uh, just build a good quality house for the family who needs it. As of today, uh, we got our framing up, so we got all of our exterior walls up, as well as our interior walls. Looking forward to start sheathing the outside and then uh, start getting some trusses up. Housing is a problem, affordable housing is more of a problem. And um, to give people that can, be a springboard to other opportunities and just a better life in general. You know, it's it's pretty cool. I don't know if I was living under a rock, but I didn't know a whole lot about Habitat before coming to Turner. Uh, but I was just talking to my friend uh, as I was on my way up here on the phone uh, back home, and, and I said, oh, I'm building a house for uh, Habitat. And he's kind of lit up and said, oh, that's that's amazing. Those guys are 
They're awesome. You guys are kind of famous, I guess. Uh, and even the guy at Home Depot, he, he he perked up when he saw who my order was was for, and, and all of a sudden started helping me a little more. So you guys have you got something going on. Habitat isn't in it for uh, a profit, and I think that's refreshing these days. Like the statement goes, right? It takes a village to to raise a child. I think to build a house, it really takes a community of, of people to come together. I mean, even finding land, finding resources. You know, getting with the city to build and and uh, work through the relationships and the the requirements required for uh, um, you know permitting and and all of these things coming together really just come you know full circle when you see it at the end and you see an event like this take place that shows you how many people are touching this and how many people are involved and it's really amazing to see how many people really want to genuinely do the right thing and, and do a great job especially in a uh, you know, seeing how things are in the news, you know, every morning, it, it's great to see that, you know, there are people that are actually genuinely wanting to do a good thing.